Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we are going to learn what is a predicate logic. So first of all, let us understand what is a predicate. So a propositional function, we all know that what is a propositional function or a predicate in one or two variable is, is a sentence that becomes a proposition when variables are given definite values from the set of values it can take. Okay. So, for example, this x is greater than 13. Then next, y plus 8 equals to 12. So, whenever we put uh, y equals to 4, then it will become 4 plus 8 uh, equals to 12. Then it will become a predicate. Okay. Uh, a predicate P contains n variables. Uh, x1, x2, up to xn is called an n place predicate. Uh, for example, x is greater than 13. See, we have only one variable, x is greater than 13, is a one place predicate and it is denoted by the simple uh, symbol p of x, simply p of x. Now, they, and then x plus y equals to 12, it is a two place predicate and it is denoted by this p of xy and so on. So, when, whenever we have one variable, we will denote it by p of x, whenever we will have two variable, then we will denote it by p of x, comma y and so on. Now the values which the variables may assume constitute a collection or a set is called the universe of discourse. Now we will have total two quantifiers. The first one, what is the universal quantifier? So if P of X, it is a predicate with the variable X as an argument. Now then the universal quantifier is a mathematical symbol and that is for every whose meaning is for all. Now the proposition, see, for every x comma p of x and which is interpreted as for all values of x, this comma p of x is true. Again, the symbol for every x p of x, it is, uh, an, uh, it is interpreted as for all values of x, p of x, it is true. Now a variable x is said to be this universally quantified as it is a universal quantifier. Now the second quantifier is the existential quantifier. So if P of X, it is a predicate with the variable X as an argument, then the existential quantifier, it is a mathematical symbol, uh, a universal quantifier, it was this for every. So in, in, in an existential quantifier, it is there exist, uh, this rotated E. So whose meaning is there exist. So the proposition for every X P of X, which is interpreted as there exists a value of x in the universe of discourse for which p of x is true. Uh, in universal, it was for all value of x, p of x is true. And here, there exists a value of x in the universe of discourse for which p of x is true. Uh, remark, see the negation of the given statement for every x p of x is for every x p of x is not true or it is not the case that for all x this p of x is true so that means at least for some x p of x is true so in other words there exists an x such that not p of x is true okay again i am repeating the negation of x p of x that means for every x p of x so what is a, a for every x p of x it is for every x p of x is true now we want to write its negation so for every x p of x it is not true so that means it is not the case that for all x p of x is true or in other words uh, uh, there exists an x such that this not p of x is true so in symbolic form for every uh, not of that means negation of for every x p of x and that is equivalent to for every sorry there exists x such that p of x is not true that means negation of p of x this we will use in some of the examples and this is important uh, let us discuss examples the question is over the universe of discourse so that means whatever the values it can take so over the universe of discourse of book here book defined propositions so the first one b of x is given x has blue color then second m of x x is maths book then third i of x x is published in india then the question is translate the following 
see the first one is in symbolic form for every x m of x and i of x implies b of x so the first one is in, th in, in symbolic form and second one there are maths books published outside india so second one is in sentence form and then we will have to convert it into symbolic form so both are different so what will be the solution see uh, the first question is for every x m of x and i of x and implies b of x now what is m of x m of x is x is maths book and what is i of x x is published in india so that means we have, we will have to combine both the statements so x is maths books and it is published in india and that implies this b of x and what is b of x it has blue cover and outside this bracket there is for every x so that means for all so uh, after combining all this we will get all maths books so that means all for every uh, that means all now maths books that is m of x published in india so that means i of x and implies b of x that, that means x has blue cover so that means all maths books published in india have blue cover so this is how you can translate now the second one is there are maths books published outside india so it is in uh, sentence form then we will have to convert it into symbolic form so there are maths books so see there are maths books so that means we will, we will use existential quantifier okay now maths books published outside india so first maths books published okay so uh, it is a maths book so it will be m of x and published outside of india so uh, we have i of x that is published in india but here we have published outside of india so we will use not of i of x so what we will get so there exists x such that m of x that means it is a maths book and it is published outside of india so that means m of x and i of x okay so let us consider a second example rewrite the following statements using quantify variables and predicate symbols so the question is all birds can fly see we will just divide it into two or three parts whatever the parts are so the solution let p of x see the uh, the sentence is all birds can fly so let p of x is x is a bird and let q of x x can fly okay so the statement can be written as all birds can fly so all means that means we will use universal quantifier so that means for every so for every x this p of x that is uh, x can uh, x is a bird and implies q of x that means x can fly so for every x p of x implies q of x the next there is a student who like maths but not geography so we will uh, divide it into how many parts let us check so let p of x is x is a student then q of x x likes maths and r of x x like geography okay so there is a student who like maths but not geography so there is a student so that means we will have to use the existential quantifier so the statement will be this there exists first now there is a student so there is a student so that means p of x who like maths so that means q of x but not geography so that means not of r of x so there exist x uh, such that p of x and q of x and not r of x are true so this is how you can write now next each integer is either even or odd so first again what will you p of x that means x is an integer x is an integer then next q of x x is even then r of x x is odd so there will be total three statements so the symbolic form will be see there is each okay so for every x such that this p of x that means it is an integer and it is either even or odd so p of x and that implies q of x or r of x so this is how you can write the statement the next negate each of the following statements so for every x there this modulus of x equals to x so what will be the negation see for every x the negation is there exist x and it is simple modulus of x equals to x so its negation will be modulus of x not equals to x so the combined statement will be there exist x such that modulus of x not equals to x then next if there is a riot then someone is killed so we'll just divide it into two parts so let p equals to there is a riot okay 
and Q someone is killed okay so if there is a riot then someone is killed so the given statement is what it is P implies Q that means if there is a riot then someone is killed so P implies Q is there now we want to negate this statement so what will be the negation of P implies Q okay so negation of P implies Q that is now we know that P implies Q is equivalent to not P or Q okay so negation of negation P or Q now just multiply negation so we will get negation of negation P that is simply P and this not of Q is not Q now now we will convert it into statement form or word form so there is a riot P means there is a riot and not Q so that means someone is killed so there is a riot and someone is not killed or no one is killed so this will be the statement thank you